Hello everyone, it's Monday. I'm Sarah. Welcome to 5 Girls 5 Minutes. I don't really have too many questions to answer because only three of us did videos this week because Tara doesn't have her camera working yet. Hopefully it will be working this week. And um, I don't know what happened to Libby, but hopefully Libby will come back because um, it's Thanksgiving week, so it's kind of nice to be Thanksgiving-y for the week. Um, <laughs> So Itzel asked about um, if we ever bought something that we thought was exciting and then once we got it we didn't think it was exciting anymore, it kind of disappointed us. Um, my library, our, our local library, used to sell used records. Um, so I bought the record, the um, original Broadway cast recording of Cats, because I used to, it used to be my favorite musical when I was small. Um, but it's disappointing because it's not as good as the London version, because the London version, like a lot of times, the original London cast of an original British musical is usually better than the American version, sort of like Les Mis. If we listen to the original London recording of Les Miserables, um, it's so much better than the American version. I mean, not that I hate American versions of things, but yeah, I listened to the American version of Cats, and it's like... All Mr. Mistopheles, which you won't get if you don't know what Cats is, but it's all, it's like most of the songs are narrated by one of the cats rather than letting the characters sing their own songs, and I don't like that, so yeah, that's disappointing, and I never listened to it. I could sell it, but nobody would want to buy it, so um, I try not to spend money on things that I wouldn't like, but in that case, I was younger, and I thought I would like it, but I don't like it. Um, and then Tally was talking about community, and I just wanted to say thank you for making a video about it, because it puts it into perspective, and I agree with you, and it made me feel better. It still kind of sucks, but it made me feel better, because it's true, it's a highbrow show, and it's hard to get into it if you don't get the references. And I, I know I myself personally don't always get the references. I don't always know what movie they're parodying. Sometimes it goes over my head, but I still love it. But I know some people who are trying to get into the show couldn't get into it if they didn't get all of the pop culture stuff. It's a very pop culture heavy show and um, I'm a pop culture person but I, that doesn't mean I get every pop culture reference because I'm kind of picky about <laughs> the pop culture that I do get into. That's a Wes Anderson quote that's going across my computer in case you're wondering. Um, speaking of picky. Um, but yes, I, I'm glad that you made that video because it, it made me feel better and as long as we have half seasons for a few more years rather than it getting cancelled. That's that's the good thing. Um, I just turned blue. I think it's because of the sun. It's a really cloudy day today. November is a really cloudy kind of sleepy month and it sucks because it's NaNoWriMo and I, all I want to do is sleep. <laughs> I start writing and I just want to go to sleep. But anyway, I have a question um, because the Muppet movie is coming out on Wednesday and so it got me thinking, what's your favorite Muppet? I think everybody probably has a favorite Muppet, sort of like everybody has a favorite Peanuts character or a favorite Beetle, and it kind of tells you a little bit about yourself. My favorite's Gonzo, because he's weird and he can't be labeled, um, and he's gregarious and friendly and silly, so he's my favorite, and I, I feel for him because he like he can't be labeled, but at the same time there's like a sadness to it because he wishes that he knew what he was because then he could belong with something. So, and I, I kind of feel that sometimes in a weird way, but I'm not a strange creature, but I guess I, I sort of am, and I'm blue, so <laughs> I don't know why I'm blue. Uh, <laughs> I think it's the light or something, but it's kind of handy how I turned blue to talk about Gonzo. But um, yeah, so that's my question. What's your favorite Muppet? And I have 38,683 words of my NaNoWriMo done, and I know that Tara is ahead because Tara has to be ahead so she can go visit her friend for Thanksgiving. Um, and I wanted to give you a little update. This is the last thing that I wrote yesterday, and it sucks, so just fair warning. <clears throat> in my dreaming, I followed a crying voice down a long hallway. I was in some old stone prison. There were cells that I passed on either side of me. The crying was all around me, and I did my best to follow the path toward the familiar voice of a frightened Kurt. But there seemed to be more and more people crying until the din was too loud to make any one person out. Unable to reach any of them, I awoke with a start. I was still lying on the sofa, but Helena was gone. I wondered how she had managed that, but reasoned that I had probably been sleeping pretty heavily. 
It was dark in the room. The lamp was now off. She must have gone to bed and left me here to sleep. Yeah, so that doesn't really tell you anything, but <laughs> that's how I'm doing with NaNoWriMo, and I hope you're all having an awesome week, and I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving, and Tally, if we don't see you on Thanksgiving, it's okay because it's, I mean, it's a holiday, but, um, so don't feel obligated unless you want to. And I hope everybody has a great holiday, and I will see you next Monday, and Tara, I will hopefully see you tomorrow, otherwise I'll see Itzel and Tally and Libby this week, too. <sighs> Bye! <laughs>